and welcome back. Well, we don't have um, a profile for the end here, so all I'm going to do is actually copy this one, take it across. Now, uh, copy, we've got H I, I'm just going to call this J, it is a copy, so OK, and I'm going to place it just there then move this across zoom in a little bit and what I need to do is just scale it down a little bit so let's press our R key to get the scale let's move it down that way that looks okay just let's hit T to go into our top just move over there. Let's scale this down. Um, press W for our move tool. R for our scale tool. Let's just scale that down a little bit more. There. W and come on. And just there. So I'm happy with that. So let's just go into our perspective viewport now. So I'll just hit P. Um, let's Alt and zoom around a little bit. Zoom out and drag it across. Now we can begin to see what we're doing. Everything seems lined up there. What about down here? Just zoom in there. Well, actually, the positioning of these isn't too bad at this moment in time. Perhaps that one there could just do with going back in a little bit to there. That one. Let's just zoom round. And hey, that is looking quite good. Nicely in place there. Okay. And let's hit T for top, Z for zoom, Control Alt Middle, roll a key or mouse key, and wrong W. Yep, so what I'm going to do is just uh, find a nice place to select all of these. There we go, select them all, and then say, hey, let's mirror. XY copy, say OK, and we can bring those across and place them round about just there. Now let's go perspective again, so I'll hit P. Let's just um, oh, cancel that one. That's what I'm wanting. Reference material. Let's hide our ref material. And press Alt. And middle mouse key. And let's just have a good sort of look around. Control Alt. Middle mouse key. Zoom out. Alt, middle mouse key, and roll around. Hey, we're getting there, just a few more pieces, and then we're done. So I'm just going to pop into our front viewport, so hit F, I hit Z to zoom, pull that across, um, pop up to our layer manager pop into reference, unhide, can I hide that for a bit, things are looking quite good there, but what I do need to do is create another spline, uh, this time a circle, so it's straightforward, what I need to do is create the front part just there, I've got it from the centre, so 
if I take that from the center there and create the spline just about there it seems pink nothing like shocking pink let's just hit and I still grow that say OK and click on it come on thank you convert to editable spline apply our extrude and apply our shell and then let's collapse this so collapse all go to our left viewport so hit L there it is let's just bring that out to here move that up a little bit excellent and then whilst we're in our left viewport just move our way across here now we don't have any for the back but I do know that this section around here is more or less the same as that in the profile so let's select that one press shift and drag it out so we make a copy then what I want to do uh, so GHIJ I'm gonna call this G small a hit OK press T press R for the scale let's just bring that down a little bit W let's move it up and then R for scale again a bit more W this is just a little bit of faffing around for the time being okay let's leave that like that for the time being now I'm going to create uh, one for the fin section down here just so we've got a reference when we look at it from the front and the side so I'm going to go with a line for this one click on up to that bit there, there. Pull that down there and it's the front here so if I hit shift it's going to bring it down straight just bring it down there round to there hit shift again and follow this through there yes and um, alright this one I don't really need to sort out so convert to editable spline we can add an extrude we can add shell get rid of that pink color okay and then I'll just call this one um, tail let's hit perspective so P control alt middle mouse key let's zoom out a little bit alt middle mouse key and just have a quick look around that one there needs to resize a little bit so we'll go R and just pull that in a little bit there perfect and now if we have a good look around we can see it there's just the fins for the rear wing there but that's basically it we can see it I would say we're almost ready now to begin modeling it okay just um, a final thing for completing this tutorial and that is we need to freeze all of these helpers here we just select there 
Now, one or two ways that we can do this. Um, obviously, if we freeze these, then they're going to turn grey. So we could go in if we didn't, if we wanted them to remain that colour. Let's go to Object Properties, and we'd uncheck Show Frozen in Grey. I'm not going to do that. Uh, but we would do that for each of those and then we could freeze them all or we could do a bit of a quicker way well a couple of quicker ways actually we could go to the frame helpers open that up now we could say here freeze them all and if we just check that we can see now that they're all frozen so we couldn't inadvertently select these move them or modify them in any way shape or form or what we could do uncheck that is actually pop down and freeze each individual one now as we are having them all frozen I don't see the point in that so let's uncheck those and just say let's freeze them all it can be that simple I don't mind them being in grey actually Okay, well, that really does bring this part of the tutorials to a close. So in our next tutorials, we will begin modeling. Hope you've learned something from these. Catch you later.